Capturing trinomials can look a little bit daunting, but if you know the techniques, it's actually quite easy. That's what we're going to talk about today. Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro, Kanina, it's all about um, factoring trinomials. And uh, this topic that actually gave a lot of people a hard time when we were growing up. And it actually was a little bit tricky for me as well. Uh, it just so happened na wala akong choice kundi magsagot ng mga worksheets at magpractice. Kaya I kind of came up with a couple of things that I'm going to show you ngayon. Now in order for me to explain this better, I'm going to have to switch over to my PC so I can show you how to do it. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so ito yung lecture natin on factoring trinomials, specifically yung what we call quadratic trinomials. Ang form niya kasi is like this. So yun yung unang qualifier for this video lesson. Again, we're going to try to ease into the more difficult lessons pagdating sa algebra. Pero this is the one lesson na hindi nyo pwedeng iwasan sa mga aptitude exams. Whether that be for college exams or civil service exam, NAPOLCOM, PhilSAT, all of these things. Lagi yan lumalabas sa mga law school exams. Balita ko, and mat din, ganyan. So, all of these exams, meron kayo ma-encounter at least one or two. And it's actually really easy if you build up enough skill to uh, tackle this. Para kung sakasakali naman na uh, biglang three or four questions yung lumabas sa exam ninyo, eh hindi kayo mablanko. So again, we're going to factor trinomials that take this form. So yung B dyan can be any number, yung C can be any number as well. Okay? Now, before we jump into yung how I do it, okay, we're going to have this muna. Meron tayong skills checklist really quickly kasi... Uh, I don't want to waste your time. So, if in case hindi nyo pa kuha itong mga lessons na ito, it will do you well to go back to these lessons first before you even try this. Kasi ang mangyayari, uh, baka mahirapan kayo na makahabol if wala kayong masyadong confidence dito sa mga skills na ito. Now, the beauty of it is, all of these videos I already have uh, on YouTube right now. So, kung hindi nyo pa alam itong mga ito, hindi pa kayo confident, i-click nyo na lang dito sa taas sa i button para makakatch up kayo. So, again, we're going to start with something basic, yung finding factors. So, paano mag-factor ng number? For example, on 12, ano ang factors niya? Uh, and papasok na rin dito yung kung gano'n kayo kabilis mag-multiply at mag-divide ng numbers. Now, meron akong mga videos on factors, how to know if a number is factorable sa isang number. Nakalink na lang din sa taas. And then, also we have yung basics ng integers. Kasi when it comes to trinomials, when it comes to polynomials, we're going to be dealing with integers as well. And uh, one of the reasons why people have a hard time with this is kasi hindi sila confident sa science sa positive at negative. So, kung hindi nyo pa na ma-master yun, meron din akong videos on adding and multiplying integers which you're going to do a lot dito sa lesson na ito. Of course, multiplying polynomials, dividing polynomials din kasi uh, maghahanap na tayo ng factors. So, you have to know how to put together and uh, split apart itong mga variables natin. And of course, you're adding special polynomials. Itong special polynomials, it's a bit of a hack sa ganitong klase na, na question. Kasi kung alam niyo yung special polynomials ninyo, you won't even have to do this. Kasi isang tingin niyo lang, kung memorize niyo yung mga form ng special polynomials, alam niyo na agad kung ano yung factor. So, kung hindi niyo pa yun napapanood, again, all of the links will be up there. Okay? Now, kung okay na kayo, medyo kakayanin, di pat na tayo sa mismong discussion. Again, I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. Now, there are a bunch of other ways. Pero, ito yung nag work for me. So, uh, ever since I was in high school, noong nag-algebra kami, ganito lang yung ginagawa ko. Now, bakit natin kailangan yung mga, uh, mga information na yun? Kasi, ibibake down mga natin sa pinaka-basic. Ang question, kapag pinapa-factor sa inyo isang bagay, so for example, you have 3x squared, pag sinasabi na ifa-factor mo siya, basically, paghihiwa-hiwalahin nyo yung 3x at uh, yung 3x squared sa mga bagay na pwede mong i-multiply para lumabas yun. Okay? So, ano mangyayari dyan? Kung hatiin ko to, this will be 3 muna, x, and dahil squared siya, meron kang isa pang x. So, again, kung hindi rin kayo masyadong confident sa exponents ninyo, you may have a hard time with this lesson. So, ang factors niya ay 3, x, at isa pang x. 
Or, kung gusto mo, pwede na rin 3 tapos x squared. And this is something that's very basic pa lang. Again, isa pa lang siyang um, variable. So, paano pag mas marami pa siya? Now, paano yung ganito? 12a cubed b squared. So, basically, ito, you can write it like that. Kung sobrang if factor, factor, factor ko pa siya, this will give me, yung 12 mo na isi-split ko, meron akong 3, meron akong 4, which I can split into 2 twos pa, para maging prime number siya. And then you have tatlong a, 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 and then dalawang b, b, b. So, ganun yung kailangan gamin, yung splitting apart ng mga um, characters sa loob, ng mga factors na, na bumubuo doon sa term na yun. Now, this is what a quadratic trinomial looks like. Again, we have the form, no? x squared na una. Tapos, meron kang bx. Yung b mo being 7. And then, yung i, yung c, which is yung 12. Ganyan yung itsura niya. Ang unang-una munang test is this. Kung hindi ganito ang itsura niya, then it's going to take a little bit longer for you to factor it. And I will discuss that later on dito sa series na ito. Pero for now, dito muna tayo magsa-start. Again, yung x squared dapat nandyan. Hindi pwedeng x cubed, hindi pwedeng x to the fourth. x squared dapat. And then you have something x. Pwede ring x lang, which should mean 1x siya. And then yung huling number. Okay? Now, tingnan natin to. Yan yung ating example kanina. Ano ang gagawin ko? kung if factor ko siya. The first thing that you're going to do is to split the first variable. Itong x squared na ito, isi-split muna natin siya. Now, paano ko siya masisplit? Isi-split ko siya sa dalawang x. So, ibig sabihin, pwede na ako maglagay dito ng x and then another x. Now, keeping in mind na dahil ito ay positive, kasi positive x squared yan, hindi yan negative, pwede siyang either x na positive times positive x or, dahil siya ay positive, pwede rin siya actually na negative x, tapos times a negative x. Now, bakit ganon? Kasi, ang rule sa multiplication ng integers, kapag pareho sila ng sign, whether parehong positive or parehong negative, ang lalabas sa resulta ay positive. Eh, dahil positive ito, pwede ganito, pwede ganito. Hindi pa tayo sure. So, iaabang lang natin siya dyan. Ang next step mong gagawin would be to look at the last variable. Yung positive 12 natin. Yung last na yan, na part ng ating trinomial, yung digits lang, walang letters, ifa-factor mo ngayon siya. Now, bakit ko siya ifa-factor? Kasi ang, ang um, sistema, when you're multiplying binomials, pag sabi binomials, dalawa, by means 2, nomials, eto na yan, yung mga yan, so 1, 2, 3, trinomial, pag binomial, dalawa lang sila, Pag ikaw ay nagbumultiply niyan, ginagamit nat ginagamitin natin yan ng FOIL method, no? Yung FOIL, that is first, outside, inside, last. Yung last na yan, which is yung positive 12, yan ay produkto nung pagmumultiply mo nung dalawang last na nandyan sa dalawang binomials na yan. So, ang gagawin mo para mahanap mo yan would be to find the factors of 12. Now, you can list this. Kung kayo nagsisimula pala mag-aaral pa nyo ilista. But um, since I love manipulating numbers, I love playing with numbers, uh, yung mga plate numbers, hiling ako i-multiply yan, i-divide, maghanap ng patterns sa kanila, um, it's a little bit faster na for me to eliminate certain things. But if you're starting out, what you could do would be to list down everything. Okay? So, ano ba yung pwede mong i-multiply para lumabas yung 12? Pwede 1 at 12. ba? Pwede yung dahil divisible siya sa 2, 2 at 6. Pwede rin 3 at 4. Okay? Now, wala nang iba kasi babalik na lang siya dun sa kabilang side, no? That will be 4 times 3, 6 times 2, and 1 times 12. So, itong mga, ito yung magiging mga options mo for the second slot dito sa iyong binomial. Okay? Now, how do I know which one to try first? Yung iba kasi tila trial and error mula sa simula. Now, ako, mas maganda kung may step 3 ka, which is to choose which of these pairs ang kapag in ko sila, lalabas yung nasa gitna. Okay? Nasa gitna is 7 or positive 7. Alin dito ang pag pinagsama ko sila, in ko sila, lalabas yun. Now, itong 1 at 12, na 13, 8, eto 7, you notice? So, dahil 7 yan at pareho naman tong positive, positive, ibig sabihin, I can write down dito yung aking um, 
para itatry na, na factors would be positive 3 and positive 4. Okay? Now, just to make sure, you can now check by multiplying yung binomials natin. Sabi natin again, FOIL. So, kung FOIL, first muna, that is x times x. That is x squared. So, tama tayo doon. Yung next would be yung outside. So, x times positive 4. That would be positive 4x. Tapos, yung inside, that would be 3 times x. That is positive 3x. Again, if you notice, this right here is your 7x. So, tama pa rin tayo dyan. Positive siya. And then, yung last natin would be 3, positive 3 times positive 4. Yan yung last. So, 3 times 4 is 12. At dahil positive sila pareho, that would be positive 12. So, kompleto na tayo. x squared plus 7x plus 12. So, dahil lumabas na yan sa checking natin, you are sure na ang tamang sagot is ang factors niya ay yung quantity x plus 3 uh, times the quantity x plus 4. Okay? Now you have your answer. So again, it's all about familiarity, knowing yung mga basics, at kapag alam niyo yung mga basics dito, it will be easier for you. Now, i-level up natin ng konti. Paano kung meron ng negative. Dito na nagkakaroon ng oting tricky na part kasi again, pag walang confidence tayo masyado when it comes to dealing with negatives, naguguluhan. So, you really have to have your rules when it comes to integers in place para ma-master nyo ito. Now, i try natin. It's going to be the same naman. Again, that's the same uh, trinomial. First, you have to split the first na variable natin, x squared. Split mo lang siya into dalawang x. So, again, pwedeng ganyan, positive x, or abang lang. Okay? In the odd chance na may negative, pwedeng ganyan, negative x and negative x. Okay? Abang lang yan, dalawang yan. Ako, I prefer to deal with this first. Kung hindi lang talaga siya lalabas sa positive, dun ko lang sinusubukan sa negative. Okay? Now, next, ang gagawin natin, you have to factor the last variable, which is negative 12. Dito, very important na yung sign. Okay? Kasi when we list down yung factors natin, again, like, like what we did kanina, that would still be 12 and 1. And then you have 6 and 2. And then, of course, 4 and 3. Pinalit ko lang ng pwesto ng konti, pero ganyan sila. Yan yung mga pairs natin. Okay? Pero dahil negative yung sign nito, ibig sabihin, may isang side dyan sa kanila na magiging negative. Whether itong negative, itong positive, or itong positive, or ito ang negative. Now, how do I know? Babalik tayo doon sa step 3, which is, choose which pair has the second variable as its sum. Ano yung pag in ko sila, lalabas yung ito. Now, yan, dahil siya ay x lang, ibig sabihin nun, actually, ang ibig sabihin niyan ay positive 1x. So, dahil sum ang pinag-uusapan, ibig sabihin, pag in ko sila, positive ang naging resulta, ibig sabihin, ang positive would be yung mas malaking number. So, ibig sabihin, ganito yan. Mas malaking number dapat yung positive kasi siya ang nasunod. ba ang rule natin sa integers is, makukuha yung sign nung kung sino ang greater sa kanilang dalawa. Kasi basically, isa-subtract mo sila, Tapos, kung ano yung sign ng mas malaking number, yun yung mamanahin nung sagot. So, dahil positive ito, ibig sabihin, ang mamana niya is yung sign ng mas malaking number. So, dito, dahil ito yung mga mas malaking numbers sa kanilang mga factors, dito natin ay kukuha ng combination. Ano dyan yung lalabas ang positive 1? Isa lang ang may posibilidad na may difference sila na 1, which is this. Okay? Now, if you notice, pag nag-add ako ng positive 4, Inagdag ko siya sa negative 3, okay? Ang magiging resulta niyan would be 4 minus 3, 4 minus 3 which is 1, tapos masusunod yung sign ng mas malaki, which is plus. Again, kung hindi niya para paparoon yung series ko in integers, ililink ko na lang uli sa taas. Baka maguluhan kayo dito sa adding ng integers and subtracting ng integers. Very important yon para makuha niyo itong lesson na ito. So again, alam ko na, ang magiging pair niya would be plus 4, and minus 3. Now, importante ba yung placement nila? Pwede bang baliktad sila ng pwesto? Pwede rin naman. Kung gusto nyo mauna yung x minus 3, sa x plus 4, okay lang din. Yun ang beauty ng multiplication eh. Okay, pwede yung iswap yung buong ito at buong ito. Pagpalitin ng pwesto, pwede rin. Now again, step 4, check natin by multiplying. So, foil tayo. 
So we're going to start with the uh, first muna. So x times x first, that would be x squared. So tama na tayo doon, x squared. Next would be yung outside. Ang outside natin is x times negative 3. So that would be negative 3x. And then inside, ang inside naman na natin is positive 4 times x. That is positive 4x. Pag pinagsama ko yan ngayon, negative 3x plus 4x, that will still be positive 1x or positive x. So again, tama pa rin tayo dyan. Yun yung lumabas. Next, yung huling character natin, gagawin lang natin would be positive 4 times negative 3. So that would be negative 12. So, ang sagot ay kapareho nung ating hinahanap. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay tama. The answer is, ang factors natin are quantity x plus 4 and the quantity x minus 3. Okay? So, again, practice brings about confidence. So, it's time for your turn. Uh, and I'm going to give you a few minutes to answer this. I hope you get it right. Your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. Okay, so ito yung ating question, x squared plus 3x minus 4t. So again, may negative tayo dyan, may integer na negative, so it can be a little bit tricky, but we're going to take it step by step. First, split na natin yung una, so we have two x's, x and an x right here. And again, bearing in mind, pwedeng negative yan, lalo na dahil negative yun, may mga posibilidad na ganyan. Huwag natin uh, i-discount yon So, itabi natin muna yan dyan. Next, we have yung next step natin, which is to factor the last variable, which is negative 40. Kung i-factor ko yan, ang mga lalabas would be, uh, again, una sa lahat, yung identity, which is 40 times 1. Pwedeng 20 times 2. Hindi siya pwede sa 3, pero pwede siya sa 4. That would be 10 times 4. And then, mag-isip pa tayo. Pwede pa bang mas mataas dyan? Pwede siya sa 5? Yes. So again, kung alam nyo yung mga factors, yung factoring technique, mas madali nyo i-checklist yan, which will help you in the long run. So you have 8. Sa 6 ba pwede siya? Hindi. Again, hindi ko na kailangan ilista pa yung 5 times 8, no? Ganyan na lang muna. Now, you notice I always put the bigger numbers in one side, the smaller numbers in one side. I do this mentally then when I sort things. Para lang when it comes to dealing with the signs, mas madali kong piliin kung saan yung mas malaki. Okay? Which is yung ginawa natin kanina. Kasi kung ito ay negative, ibig sabihin may isang side dito, whether the bigger numbers or the smaller numbers na negative. Now, it's all based on the 
third step, which is ano yung merong second variable as its sum. Ang second variable natin is positive 3x. So, ibig sabihin positive yung mas malaki. So, again, ang positive would be nandito sa column na ito. Ito ang mga magiging negative natin. So, ma ma ano, it's a great way to eliminate certain options kung natatandaan nyo yung gawin itong column na ito. Okay? Now, again, hinahanap na natin ngayon, ano dyan ang may difference na 3? O, masyadong malayo to. Hindi na pwede. Masyadong malayo. This ang difference na ay 6. So, ibig sabihin, ito ang may posibilidad. At dahil 8 ang mas malaking number at positive ang nasunod, ibig sabihin 8 ang positive. So, ang ating ihuhula ngayon would be positive 8 and then, ito yung magiging negative which is 5. And now, we check. So, again, multiply natin. First terms muna. So, x times x. That is x squared. Pasok na tayo dito. Check na yan. Next, we have yung outside. So, x times negative 5. That is negative 5x. Tapos, yung nasa inside naman. Positive 8. Tapos, x. So, that is positive 8x. Again, pag, pag iyong pinagsama yan, that would give you positive 3x. So, check ulit tayo doon. Next would be yung last na. So, i-multiply natin yung last, which is 8 positive times negative 5. That would give me a negative number kasi mag sila ng sign. So, that is negative 14. Now, if you notice, yun din siya. So, kompleto na siya. Ibig sabihin, ang tamang sagot is indeed the quantity x plus 8 times the quantity x minus 5. Okay? So, the more you practice, the better you'll get. Again, this right here is something that wasn't taught to us. No? Itong, itong reasoning lang na to, na kung how do you know which is positive and which is negative. Itong part na to, I can say I kind of came up with myself. Pero yung tinuturo kasi usually sa schools ay ilist lang lahat ng mga factors. No? Pero it's a great way for you to trim yung time sa pag de decide kung sino ang positive at negative. Again, look at this. Kung ano yung dominant na sign, ibig sabihin siya ang nasunod, ibig sabihin siya yung bigger number. Whether that be in this column or here. Okay? So, I hope kahit papano may napulit kayo dito, whether magaling na kayo mag-factor or hindi, and uh, sa inyong susunod na uh, encounters sa inyong klase, tarong maging mas confident na kayo. And again, if you didn't get this right, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, follow me at Laika Maravilla for more instructions, more announcements, and of course, more quick questions, which I post through my Instagram story. Meron kasi doong function na nagpo-post ako ng questions, tapos pwede na kayo mag-vote kung ano yung akala nyo yung tamang sagot, and you'll know right away kung tama kayo o mali. And I hope makita ko ang inyong username as one of the people who get the correct answer when I post a question related to this. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo na mag-exam din sila. That way, mas malami tayong matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made, or join the online or live review events, you can go to my Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. I would love to hear back from you. And if you have any comments, requests, the mga topics that you want me to discuss, just post it sa baba. I would love to hear back from you para mapila natin yan sa mga susunod pang mga video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe na and hit that bell. Marami pang mga video lessons na paparating. And I hope niyo siya ma-miss para masarami pa tayo matutunan together. I would love to help you guys out with yung susunod na exam or even just life in general. Thanks guys for watching. As we always see you this team, never stop learning. Adja-adja kayo niyan. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.